The minister said it was disheartening to see children braving harsh weather conditions and in tents just to attend school. It's a rundu, it's a constituency with a rural area and an urban area. And we are talking about development. What are we developing if we have got a school like this one? What are we developing, my fellow leaders? I'm not going to speak with um, a good voice today. Because sometimes some of the pictures really touched. Otoni suggested a committee be established to address the situation at the school as a matter of urgency. The school can only be developed once the area has been formalized. And I'm talking about development and the population here. Now, if you are going to evict, number one, where are you going? Do you have a land reserved where you are going to put these people? That is a, a big question. These seven tents are used as classrooms and accommodates more than 700 learners. This shark is the office of the principal. The eviction order is the stumbling block for the development of the school. The government is ready and have already budgeted for this school. Honorable Minister, the motion to revoke the eviction order was tabled three months ago, speaking under correction, but up to date, nothing happened. The previous council resolved to set aside the eviction order and allow provision of municipal services, but the new council has not implemented the resolution. The council rejected a motion by one of the councillors proposing for the eviction order to be revoked. Residents who occupied this area in 2018 have refused to vacate the area. Rondo Mayor Gabriel Kanyanga promised the minister that the motion will receive attention at the next council meeting. Chris Copolo, NBC News, Rondo.